Sad But True Ways Authors Sabotage Themselves, Part 3. I'm Arabella, I'm an award-winning author and author coach. Click that follow button and let's get into why so many of us authors sabotage ourselves unconsciously, sometimes consciously. Now let's get into it. So this was one that I did personally, like I think I've done all the other ones that I've done at some point, but this one I don't think anybody really has ever talked about other than me on here and it is being emotionally unavailable. And what I mean by this is that for me, when I was writing, I didn't allow my emotions to like bleed all over the page. I was actually very emotionally closed off. I didn't get deep into the topic of like PTSD that's in my novel or abandonment or, you know, the deeper themes of my novel. And I realized that if I don't emotionally open up to writing this experience and opening my heart and my soul and really giving every piece of me to this book, it's not gonna work. And the moment, I swear, the moment I did that, the book just, it really came together. So I think a lot of other people probably do this. And if you do this, maybe just think about it. Just if this makes you feel any sort of way, you're probably doing it. I'll just tell you that. Trust your gut, trust how you feel, but there's nothing wrong with it. Just try opening up a little bit. As an author, it's so scary because when we open ourselves up like that, we open ourselves up to deep criticism and a lot of pain. And so I totally get it, but it could be holding you back from your your amazing, most perfect story. So don't give up, keep going, and follow for more writing tips, humor, and bookish stuff.